Hey guys, so I just downloaded part one, and um, I've been waiting that for that to download so I can do a taste test for you. I want to taste that um, that cheese, and I'm really hungry because all I've had today is that uh, that scone and two egg rolls and some kombucha. So we're gonna go ahead and taste that cheese now, and if it's any good, maybe I'll make a sandwich or like cheese and crackers if I can eat it plain. Because like I said before. Dea is gross when it's not melted to me, so I'm hoping that this stuff is going to be good. So let's go ahead and get it out the drawer. All right. So you've seen this before, maybe. This is, I call my vegan drawer. I mean, I put stuff everywhere in the fridge, but this is kind of an easy way for me to keep everything together. So, all right. Don't mind the kitchen. It's a mess. That's all right, though. You guys don't care. All right. My lunchbox. Some tangelos I took on the trip that I never ate. Alright, let's see if I can get this set up a little bit so maybe you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, hold on. Alright, so we are going to try both the cheeses, or I'm going to try both the cheeses, and hopefully you're going to be wishing you were trying both the cheeses. Crap, okay. I need something to open these with. <laughs> All right, so this is the first one I'm gonna try. It's the coconut herb. We'll just have like an easy open thing. Probably not. Hopefully you won't see me cutting myself right now. Um, only thing I wanna make sure is like that these are, don't need to be consumed within a couple of days after eating. Because sometimes they'll say, you know, some of these vegan products, you know, once it's open, you have to eat it within a certain amount of time. I don't see anything. Okay. Well, I'm going to totally annihilate the packaging, which means I'm going to have to uh, put this in another container. Oh, it smells pretty good. Let me see if I can get a better angle for you. Whatever. Okay. Well, this isn't working, so give me just a minute. All right, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. I have this set up on my um, on my Vitamix. Okay. We're trying the coconut herb with black pepper. It smells good. It smells, um, I don't know, herby. <laughs> Coconut herb. All right. And it's the, like, the texture. Look, it's the texture of, like, regular, like, sliced cheese. It's not all greasy. Oh my god. This isn't gross. Woohoo! This is really good. It's just expensive. It's $5.99 for seven ounces, but shit, man. Holy cow. How did they do that? Yay! Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to have to see if this stuff freezes well and just go buy some and keep it in the freezer. Holy cannoli. Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. All right. And then the next one we're going to try is the Creamy Original. I never thought I would be able to have, like, a regular sliced cheese again that didn't taste weird. This doesn't, this is, this is good. If I made someone, like, just a, like, a cheese sandwich or something, they would have, seriously, zero, zero idea that this is fake cheese. I, I 100% believe that. Because, as you know, I'm still vegetarian, so... Occasionally I still have cheese, but not, not very often at all anymore. 
This is really good. All right, creamy original. Really no, no smell, same texture. I don't know what a close-up's really going to do for you, except show you that it looks like cheese. <laughs> wow! Field Roast is fantastic! Good lord! If you guys can find this, you need to try it. So if you are vegan or you are lactose intolerant, seriously give this stuff a try. Like there's been other stuff that I've been kind of like excited about, but this is by far the best vegan cheese and one of the best vegan products that I have ever tried. No, I am not being, sorry for all the weird eye contact. No, I am not being sponsored. I have never been sponsored by any company. Field Roast does not sponsor me, um, but I sponsor them. Okay guys, you need to get this right now. I know it's $5.99 for a little package of it, but you have to try this stuff. You need to try it. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, and while I have you waiting there for me, I'm gonna try one more thing. All right, so after I eat this cheese on, I don't care what, I might just eat it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Larbar the snickerdoodle one, but I'm going to try a little bite for you right now because like I said before I get impatient when I'm trying stuff so I don't want to like make like a meal with the cheese and then eat that and like an hour or so later try this so I'm just going to pop this open and do a taste test and then eat it later. Oh, smells good. I don't know if it's going to taste like a snickerdoodle. It kind of smells like um, like apple cinnamon. Probably because of the... Um, Probably because of the dates that are in it. That's what it looks like. Mm. It doesn't taste like a snickerdoodle, like, at all. <laughs> it seriously reminds me of, like, um, like an apple cinnamon um, bar. Like, I don't know if you've ever had, like, other cereal bars. That's what it tastes like. I think the dates, the, the what stands out the most are the dates and the cinnamon. Um, doesn't taste like a snickerdoodle, but I don't know if you've ever, or even, like, um, they kind of taste like uh, apple cinnamon applesauce. You know, the cinnamon-flavored applesauce. It has an apple-y flavor, and I think it's just because of the cinnamon and the dates, kind of that sweet, spiced flavor. It's still really good, and I'm still going to enjoy all four of them. But it doesn't taste like a snickerdoodle. I think it would actually need some sort of, like, a little bit of sweetener. And then um, snickerdoodles, I think, also have, like, nutmeg and stuff in them. So, and if you guys have never tried a Lara Bar before, they're a pretty neat product. Um, and I showed you the ingredients before, and it's just dates, cashews, almonds, uh, cinnamon, sea salt, and vanilla extract. They don't put anything weird. There's no weird chemicals. I've actually seen like a video of their factory and it's literally nuts and the dates and whatever spice they put in like all ground together and then made into bars. That's that's it. So I don't know. It's really good. I'm the most excited about the stupid cheese though. So I'm going to I'm probably honestly just going to eat a couple slices of each which I know isn't super healthy but holy cow it's good. I mean, um, I don't think I have any crackers right now. I have those bagel chips that I showed you earlier. Mm, these? I have these. So I might, uh, I might have it with those. Um, I might make a sandwich. One of my favorite sandwiches used to be, like, just a plain cheese sandwich. Just, um, bread, mayonnaise, and cheese. So I might just do that. Uh, I wish I had some crackers though. I loved cheese and crackers. I might have a few water crackers left though, so I'm gonna go look for that. But um, yeah, fantastic. If nothing else you get out of these videos, just 
freaking buy this stuff if you can find it. It is well worth it. And uh, if it freezes well, whenever it's on sale, I'm going to stock up and stick it in my freezer. I'm so stinking excited about it, I can't even tell you. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, may or may not come back later. We'll see, and uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye, thanks.